In this video we will make this multi-tool lighter. They can be used for numerous things as you will see later in the video. Here is what you will need to build it. 118650 cell rated at 2.5 amp hours and able to supply more than enough juice for our project. This module allows us to charge the battery using a normal phone charger rated at 1 amp it will take 2.5 hours to fully charge the battery cell. A push button will temporarily allow current to flow and is more convenient to use than a typical switch. This is a pair of 2mm gold connectors but you can use copper, aluminium, it doesn't make too much of a difference. 24 and 16 gauge wires. You will also need some canthal wire. Nichrome works just as good. I will link everything down below for international purchase. I began by sanding the two terminals of the battery to easier be able to solder my connections. Once the sanding was done I took my soldering iron and connected the 24 gauge wires to the charging module and the battery terminals. Try to not heat up the solder for too long as this could damage the battery. Take the 16 gauge wires and feed them into the tubes. It will fit almost perfectly. With a large gripping plier I joined the connector and wire, though you could use solder for a more permanent connection, but it should look something like this. I then took a piece of canthal, roughly 50 mm long, and formed it into an arc using my finger. Inserted both ends to the tubes and clamped them down. Remember that the canthal wire is interchangeable to any shape you wish. More about this later in the video. I cut off the black wire and solder it to the push button. The other piece of wire should be connected to the junction diagonally to the other wire. Now you can go ahead and connect both ends of wires to each terminal of the battery. Here is the multi-tool lighter complete regarding electronics. Push and hold the button and the candle will instantly heat up. Connect your phone charger and plug it in. A small red LED will light up indicating it's charging. You can even use a power bank for portability. However, using it in as condition is both messy and unsafe, so I went to my CAD software and I made a case for it. I wanted to make it so the push button couldn't be accidentally pushed, causing the cancelled wire to heat up and set something on fire. I also didn't want to open the case for charging the battery. This was the end result, quite so futuristic looking if you ask me. Once the electronic guts was crammed in there, I screwed the top lid down and the fit was pretty much perfect. The push button is securely placed inside the casing without protruding out, but just far enough for it to be clickable with the thumb. I decided to quickly measure the amp draw when using a cancel wire roughly 50mm long, peaking at 7.6 amps with a 2.5 amp hour battery. This could theoretically be powered for about 20 minutes. Obviously we are just going to be using the lighter for a couple of seconds at a time, so the battery should last for quite a long time. Insert the canthal wire, heat it up and use it for cutting foam, zip ties or even plexiglass. You could also use it as a wood burning pen. Remember that the canthal wire is interchangeable so if it were to break off you can easily replace it or shape it for your specific purpose. If you did enjoy this little project please let me know in the comments below. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook for daily updates. Thanks for watching, bye.